you have your daughter-in-law. Every day you bring along 10 people. Come on, she's a human being. Make it once, twice, that's it. Every Eid, the same daughter-in-law, every Eid, it's expected of her to cook for 50 people. Whenever is she going to have the day to have an Eid? And we blackmail her spiritually by telling her, this is your Jannah. <laughs> your Jannah, you could have said, okay, my Jannah is I'm going to buy some food from outside and put my pride wherever it belongs. And I'm going to ensure that you too can have a beautiful Eid. Why are the restaurants there? For what? Why do they open on the day of Eid? Take out that money that you want to brag and boast and show about. And buy some food and let the women at home have a day off. May Allah make it easy. I see the guys are smiling. I suppose those smiling are those who own the restaurants, right? <laughs> free advert, free advertising. But it's a fact. Why? We are no longer living in a stage where you can impose on family members and whether it's your wife, your daughter-in-law, your mother, whoever else it may be, different people. Wallahi, we make them suffer and we make them believe that Ramadan is a month where you are supposed to be in the kitchen for at least seven hours. And then only will your taraweeh be accepted. And for them, it's just Qul Allahu Ahad in every rak'ah. Allah forgive us. Wallahi, it's a sin, it's a crime. They also need to read Quran. They also need to get close to Allah. Come on, be considerate.